What's going on guys, this is Gamesia, welcome back to another Pocket Center video. Today we're going over the top 5 best uses for gems in Pocket Center. So let's just jump right into it. So number 5 is going to be events. So it's going to be when there's an event planned and you're going to use a minimal amount of gems in order to get the reward. So if you go here, there's the single one. So when you go to the vital strike, you're only going to purchase the one. And if you guys didn't know, you can go into the playground and there's a usually, see where it says buy on the vital strike? Usually it's a 24 hour period, but you can get one free every time. And if you, you can usually get about two or three free before the event even ends. So you can actually get this for free. And so during this event, you're going to see right here, I have two out of three. So let's say that I don't have enough time. So what you're going to do is all you're going to do is go to the playground and you're going to click buy and you're going to buy one of them in order to get the rewards. So if we head back into events, you can see right here, you can get the rewards and collect the keys and the gold boxes you need in order to get these. So we open the three gold boxes right here. And like I said, not a ton, but it is 350 gems worth of stuff. So if you look right here, the Senior Thunder Sandbag, it can go anywhere from, let's take a look really quick. You can see that the Senior one's 100, and we got two of them, so it was 200, plus we got a Shard, and then 30,000 gold. So it is worth it, especially because you get more rewards than just those three boxes, and you can get luckier than that. Because if you go back in, you get candies, you get rare dolls, and you get 120 SP, which is about 50 diamonds for that and if you go past it you can even go uh, after two times it's a hundred each so you can even say it's about a hundred gems for that so it is worth it to do it but um, make sure to do it with the freeway first and see if you can get it but if you can't get it in time uh, spending one 350 is is a pretty good deal so number four is going to be vital strike on the playground um, it's going to be the times 10 one and here's the reason why uh, when you do the times 10 one there's certain events that go on so as you can see right here this event is a new week 10 times draw when you get do the 10 times for the vital strike you get bonus prizes so right here you can see there's hunting tickets and candies and dolls and then a master ball shard if you get two of them so the only way i would get the vital strike 10 is either if they're on sale so they're discount or they have a good event to where you can get good prizes don't do vital strike if you get no event prizes or you get uh, or it's not on discount otherwise you're wasting gems in order to get more items in the future um, the sale is random so just keep an eye on it but don't do this unless there's uh, additional uh, items you can get so number three is going to be the shop, uh, the diamond shop, and it's going to be buying confused spray. I know that sounds kind of weird, and but it's going to be super important. Once you get later in the game, you're going to be getting these bugle shards, and you're going to be getting bugles, and you can only get one chance to get them. So getting these confused sprays are super important. So you can get them in the auction when they pop up, or you can go to shop, diamond shop, and they have them right here so save a couple diamonds if you're ever going to run into um into like a dragonite salamance uh, metacross like uh, bugle shards and you're going to try to catch them get these sprays uh the worst case scenario is that you can survive and you're trying to catch them but you but he runs away because you don't have the proper uh sprays on so these are very important so i would definitely uh save some diamonds for when you summon them so number two is going to be the auction house. So the auction house is easily one of the best places to get some of the best items because it's going to be on sale. And what I mean by on sale is that you can get some good stuff if no one's on your server, like when you're uh, bidding on stuff. So when you look at these items, uh, for example, if we look at some of the evolution stones, so these nest eggs right here are normally 140 a piece if you go into the secret shop, trainer shop. Uh, each of those evolution stones are going to be 140 a piece. But they start out when you're bidding at 60 a piece. So and there's two of them. So if you spend a max of 280, it's going to be the exact same price you would get at a trainer shop. So if you can get it under 280, you're actually getting a deal. 
Also in the auction house, there's going to be a ton of TMs. And some of these TMs you can only get in the auction house and you can only get in exclusive like PvP shops and stuff like that. So you're going to want to take advantage if you see a shadow ball, if you see an ice beam, things like that. Those are highly coveted items and you're going to want to get them. The other thing you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for items that you can carry. So it's going to be items such as Choice Scarf, Folk, Focus Band and Focus Sash, uh, items like that are going to be items that Pokemon can hold and those are going to be very valuable later too. So you're looking for all these items and these are the places to get them for discounted costs. So you're going, when you go into this you're going to click on Auction House and you're going to want to set alarms. So if you see one at, if you go down here and you're like I need to get this for uh, upgrading a Pokemon, you're going to click this. And then you're going to find out how long that is from your in-game time. And then you're going to set an alarm accordingly. So I know every time zone is a little bit different. So you're just going to want to set the time uh, according to your time. But yeah, so this is the best way uh, to remind you that you need to get these items. The first bonus one is going to be is going to be in the research center. If you look over here, you're going to look at the bugle fr fragment transfer. And these are ways to get other bugle fragments so you can get... Um, the bugle that you're looking for the different parts that you're looking for so if you put one in you can get different ones out so if I do this I could put those parts in and then do confirm and I can get a new piece um, this is kind of a new feature so it it isn't super recommended because you're it's still brand new and so you can still get a lot of the these shards but if you are in a hurry and you just want to get one go 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 um, this is kind of a cool way to do it so the last one is going to be about the timed event Udalmon that you can get with some of the most uh, powerful Pokemon and everyone in the game for your server can bid on that Pokemon. So this is kind of one where if you have a ton of gems saved up uh, you can compete with this. So this isn't recommended as you're going to need a ton of gems in order to get these. If people are bidding less than 600 points you're going to need about 10,500 gems in order to get this. So it isn't recommended that you get these guys just because it's so competitive and if you lose it by 20 points you're just going to be really sad but this is uh, another good way if you have a lot of gems saved up that uh, if you get over 600 points you can get some of these guys. So number one is going to be you're exchanging diamonds for SP. So at the top left corner you're going to see this energy lightning symbol you're going to click on it and you're going to see available today you're going to use your gems to get SP. It's easily one of the most effective ways uh, to get better because you use SP to get dolls, upgrades, evolution stones, get new Pokemon so this is easily the best and every single day you should be getting this. And when you get higher VIP, you actually get more available today, so you can be like 4 out of 4, so you can spend more gems and get more. So, that is kind of a VIP way of getting higher uh, level faster, because you get more SP, and you can upgrade faster. So these are the top 5 best ways to use your gems in Pocket Center. Um, so that's it for this video guys. If you guys have any other video ideas, please leave a comment below. But if you want to see more Pocket Center tip videos like this, please subscribe. And this is Gamesia signing out.